Alright, so you could actually do a uh, Doomsday as Supersonic, but I don't want that. I want to do it as Hypersonic, so as you see, I beat the game. Uh, look at this cool icon, by the way. So just imagine Sonic fell down to Angel, fell back down to Angel Island, and like the Death Egg was still somewhat not crumbling. So he uh he he tried to look for all the Super Emeralds. All right, it's montage time. Alright. Whew. That's all of them. Whew. That was a that was a mission, alright? Okay. One of the coolest things I've ever seen in this whole game, which is now Sonic can be hypersonic. Oh and oh boy, does that is that the most rewarding feeling. So um I'm gonna exit and hope that everything saves. If it doesn't save, I'm gonna be so mad. Okay, it saves. So we're gonna go back. You ready? Hypersonic! Look at him! Colorful and everything. Look at him. He's great. Look at him. You like him? I like him. I think it's like the coolest Sonic transformation ever. But we're here. We're doing the final boss. Alright, we're doing the final boss. Now, I have bad history with this boss just because I remember playing it on my, um, uh, legacy collection for the Nintendo 3DS. That's for the... Whatever. Uh, I remember playing it on my... And now the... Uh, it's very uncomfortable, okay? You get tired of mashing buttons to boost up forward a bit. And it's just because the buttons aren't nice, the D-pad isn't nice, because I'm not using the circle pad for a 2D game. The circle pad sucked, but it did suck even more in a 2D game. Um, okay. But yeah, no. It was just a, it was also, I guess it was just a slab of plastic to hold on to, essentially. Now, meanwhile, this controller here is like grip on the back, and it's nice to hold. You don't get tired of holding the controller unless you get cramps in your hands, which I don't. I've, I definitely heard of people who get cramps in their hands for, for, when they play a game for too long. Um, oh god, okay, please. But that's that's just not something that I have an issue with. In fact, I have the exact opposite. My hands feel just fine. I mean, sometimes my hands just genuinely start to freaking hurt after I mash a button for a long time, but that's just because my thumb has been tapping a freaking plastic button for a long time. That doesn't exactly- f Oh, let's go! Okay, so when I first beat it, and so I didn't know that I wouldn't be uploading the super, the one where I was doing this is super sonic. Also, look at my design. all these sparks up. Uh, so I talked throughout that whole thing, and I mentioned that <laughs> supersonic stronger than hypersonic because that, like, in in that I had like 60 rings left when I did the after doing the rock thing. That's the best I've been done. Even just now, I didn't do as good as that. <laughs> and I still said, is he? Is he stronger? And is that why they just never went back to him? Also. I hope you enjoy that beautiful montage that's just more editing for good old me. Also, spikes, where, where it come from? Where? This boss is like some of the top three Super Sonic final bosses. First, of course, being SA2, Sonic Adventure 2. And if you don't think that the final hazard isn't the best Super Sonic fight, what's wrong with you? Or I can see why you think Perfect Chaos would be. That's second, by the way. Because all the other ones suck. Um, actually, hold up. I could be wrong, because I really like the Super Sonic fights from Frontiers. Okay, so ranking is SA2 final boss, all Sonic Front, uh, the final hazard, all Sonic Frontiers bosses, super, so super Sonic bosses, Perfect Chaos, and then this. This is fourth. Perfect Chaos is third. I know it's iconic. I love Super Sonic in that, his aura, the shininess of him. I love that whole fight. You're going through the destroyed city. It's beautiful. It's fantastic. As open your hearts playing in the background, and you're just charging up energy and going up perfect ass to destroy his brain. But still not as good as the final hazard, for instance, in space, you play a supersonic and super shadow as you're stopping a giant lizard attached to a, uh, like, giant, like, colony in the sky as he's forcing it down towards planet Earth and you have to hit a bunch of weak spots on him six times to defeat him while he's shooting lasers at you. 
throwing these little orbs at you, and just, it's screaming, and all the characters in the background are warning you about it. Sonic Frontier's final boss fights are merely second because they control really well, they look really cool, the bosses are fun to fight, and the music is amazing. And then, um, this is fourth just because it's a 2D Sonic game where you play as a flying version of, where you play as Super Sonic, but he's flying, and, yeah... And you'd go fight Robotnik, you shoot missiles, it's epic, the final boss theme is great, you look cool while doing it, like, but it's still not as good as the other three. Uh, before, okay, I'm not doing a whole ranking, but let's just go to five. Okay, fifth supersonic boss fight. Actually, I have no idea. Honestly, I have no idea, because for some reason, World of Blast 2, you know, it's not a mainline game, doesn't have a supersonic final boss. I figured it would, but it doesn't. So, oh man, fifth is gonna be a hard one. Oh, wait, no, it's not. Sonic Manias. I'm sorry, Generations 1 sucks. Generations Super Sonic Boss Fight sucks. It's so bad. Oh, I didn't get the. Oh, whatever, you saw it. Look at these boys, they're chilling. I like Tails, is just. I like Tails is just waving. I, I, Tails is one of my favorite Sonic characters. He's so underrated. Every, everyone's like, no, he's not underrated. Yes, he is. Anyway. Thank you all for joining me on this. I can't be more grateful um, that I get to just do this for fun as just a random thing, and you want and like random people online just like like pay attention and enjoy it. Um, but thank you all seriously for like you all have been supporting this series like crazy. Some of these videos are getting over a hundred views. Anyone that gets over ten, I'm happy with. But then there's some that's like fifty to one to. 1,100, that's what my, that's the first part's at right now. This is a tutorial, by the way. Um, but yeah, no, it's just beautiful. It's fantastic that I just get to do this and you all just watch and I get like, it's just, it's just fun to have people enjoy what you're doing. So I'd like to say, um, goodbye. I thank you. This is going to be the, look at that, look at them all. Um, thank you for joining me along this adventure. Next up, uh, I'm going to take... I'm going to, um, whatever, I'll make a video about that, uh, my upcoming, alright, whatever, upcoming video is gonna be about the future, and then after that we're going on to the next playthrough, alright, of whatever game, um, and I'd like to say thank you, goodbye, and have a fantastic day, I am so happy right now, I don't know, I don't know how to sound it, but it's also like, it's 9 as of recording, this 9 at night, and I'm just... <laughs> I, I, I'm just tired today. It's crappy outside. And you know how it's crappy outside and you don't feel good. You kind of feel like you just want to go to bed. Um, but yeah, no. Thank you for supporting me along this quest. And see you in the next episode, whatever that may be. Um, goodbye. <laughs>